But it is guys, it is I, I possess the power, aka Jordan, and welcome back to the channel. For you guys today, I have another Modern Warfare 3 Zombies Guide. This is for the brand new Season 1 Act 4 Story Mission Bad Signal. In this one, we need to investigate the anomaly and leave the dark ether. Now, the anomaly is this triangle portal here, and we are going to activate that by holding your prompt button. Now, to find that on the map, it is just like the Xfil story missions with the Xfil icon and the star next to it. This one is called Bad Signal, so we just want to make sure we're not confusing it with the other ones that will be on the map if you're up to this one. So, make sure you're going to the right one to start off with. Hold square or whatever button you use to interact with it, and then we're going to need to go into our tech map, and looking in the top right, we need to vote to um, actually access the portal so make sure you guys just go ahead and vote yes a countdown timer will start and then you guys will all be sucked into the portal now once you guys go inside that's going to spawn you into the story mission and it is a tier 2 threat zone the map is all fuzzy so we don't really know where we're going uh, however if you look in the tech map in the top left you can see above that that we're in an orange threat zone so making sure that you guys have the relative equipment like some decoy grenades at least a pack a punch two weapon maybe a kill streak um, it's not more the zone it's more the frequency of zombies there are a ton of zombies in here that constantly spawn as well as manglers and mimics and disciples uh, always coming at you so you guys just do want those those high pack punched guns for your ammunition sake as well as stay tuned for a special boss fight at the end now what we want to be doing is our first objective is making our way over to these seals that are on the map there will be icons showing you how to get here and we're going to be clearing out the zombies and then activating these seals so what you're seeing here is to on our left under our mini map we have a progress bar and we want to be killing zombies near this thing so we can power it up. Uh, it's essentially like the soul boxes if you're familiar with the old zombies where if you're in a proximity to this objective and you kill them it will absorb their soul and it will power it up. So we're going to be doing four of these in total. Once you have done the first one you'll see we now have one out of four in our objective. Uh, marker and we can make our way over to the next one so you just want to keep fighting your way through the streets as you make your way to these uh, rock formations and then fill them up by killing the zombies around them uh, this is the second one here and we want to be doing that until we have completed four of them now they are in different areas around the map so some are harder than others and that is more location wise as some are in tighter areas and some are more in the open this is more of a tighter area one that has a bunch of mimics spawn in. Um, so just be prepared for that that some of these are a little bit different so once you have done all four of the rock formations and charged them all up we're going to be making our way over to our new objective to leave the dark ether that's going to spawn a portal in and once we get over there we actually get tricked and this is a giant worm that we now need to fight for the boss fight this is the gormgan and if you're familiar with this worm from the act 3 story mission it is essentially the fight works the same with the same mechanics we have the slam the laser mouth the orb balls um, and a few other things however there are a few different um, kind of variables of this fight that we will get into but the most part is the same you just want to be shooting it at its weak points on the purple crystals or in the mouth when it does its laser attack uh, if you have any kill streaks now the time now's the time to use it uh, I had a juggernaut suit so I chucked that on however this thing's slippery look at him just slam around um, you might want to do it when he's in a bit of a more standstill animation just to get the most damage out of that kill streak now what we want to be watching out for here are these orbs. Uh, you see these from the previous fight that we had with the worm in the Act 3 story mission that they are more annoying than high damage. They will just keep flying at you unless you deal with them. So you do want to be making sure you're focusing them whenever you can. Now this is a different variant of the underground attack where he goes under the ground and then slams up. Uh, in the previous one you could parachute but in this one he will eat you. Uh, when he eats you you are going to take it down. I haven't found a way to negate this yet. Um, but if you do feel free to leave it in the comments section below now once you have done enough damage to him and you see his health bar deplete he's going to explode and it's going to start raining worm and that is going to spawn a rift portal now inside of the rift portal is going to be a reward that i have no idea what it does yet if you do also feel free to leave that in the comment section below uh, but it is this kind of diary here or notebook uh, when i exfilled with it it does bring it into your inventory so just make sure that you are grabbing that but that's pretty much it guys if you want to check out the cutscene i have that in a separate video on my channel i appreciate all you guys and if you enjoyed this video leave a like comment or subscribe 
Don't forget to hit that notification bell to stay ahead of the game and hit this X full portal and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Aren't you just gonna take that? Make them take it all back. Don't tell me you believe that. Aren't you just gonna take that? Oh, will you fucking fight back?